What's up guys, Chase here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get cruise control on your motorcycle. Alright guys, so here we have two motorcycle throttle locks. If you don't know what a throttle lock is, don't worry, I didn't either. But it's basically one of these little clamp type pieces of gear that you can get to simulate your motorcycle having cruise control similar to what most cars have. If you don't know what cruise control is, then you're probably too young to really care about this video anyway. I found out about these from a buddy of mine named Walt Terrific here on YouTube, and once I realized they were a thing, I knew I had to do a video on them to test them out for you guys. The way these work is by clamping onto your motorcycle throttle and sticking it in place so that your hand doesn't have to remain holding the throttle back while you're riding. On long rides especially, having to hold your throttle in the same position for hours can become tiring so these seem like an amazing solution to that problem. I found two main units online. One is the Omni Cruise that I grabbed from Revzilla for about $49.99 and the other is a Go Cruise which I got from Amazon for about $19.99. The installation process, if you want to call it that, is stupidly simple. They are literally clamps. Okay, so not actually a clamp, but all they are going to do is tighten around your throttle and then press against your front brake lever to keep it in place. The OmniCruise did come with some rubber fitments to help the unit from slipping, which was nice. This way, in case you don't have rubber on your handlebars, you can slide these on to keep the unit in place. Once they are installed, all you need to do is, while riding, twist your throttle back to the amount you wish to be going, push the throttle lock down to where it's touching your front brake lever, and then you're able to take your hand off the throttle and it should remain engaged. So now we know how they work. But I was curious, does the $50 all-American made out of metal option work as well as the cheap looking plastic one found on Amazon? First off, the build quality of these two are 100% different as is how they work. The Omni Cruise has a screw to tighten and loosen it for installing and removing it from the bike, whereas the Go Cruise is only able to be pulled apart. The Go Cruise is also much shorter than the Omni Cruise, and because of that, I had to mount it in a different location on my throttle because it wouldn't actually reach the brake lever. This caused me to use a weird hand position while riding that ended up being really annoying and uncomfortable. This could have just been on my R6 specifically, but I would recommend you guys doing some measuring on your own bike before looking into purchasing the Go Cruise. As far as actually working as a cruise control system on the bike, both actually worked quite well. I did notice that when using them, you need to twist the bar back a little farther than what you want because you do lose a small amount of throttle before it engages. But after the first initial play, both locks held pretty well. I also noticed a couple times where the throttle slowly started closing, but for the most part, they worked out really well. Also, the first couple times I tried this, it was really weird taking my throttle hand off the bars. I guess it was because it was just something I really wasn't used to. It was also really cool to be able to sit on the back seat while your bike just kept going down the highway. With both units working similarly, the thing that I bring this down to is build quality. If you're on a tight budget and you really want one of these, I would go with the Go Cruise. Or you can get a pack of four little clamps for a dollar each on Amazon. But the Go Cruise works similar to the Omni Cruise and is less than half the price. If you can fork out 30 more bucks though, I would recommend the Omni Cruise. With a mostly metal construction, the only non-metal being the bottom, which is made of rubber so that it doesn't scratch the brake lever, and a much nicer look, the Omni Cruise is something I don't mind keeping on my bike. It looks like a cool sleek accessory and is extremely useful for long trips where my hand would typically get tired of holding the throttle on. At the end of the day, neither of these are really necessary, but it is a pretty inexpensive addition to add to the bike. If you're the type of rider that does a lot of commuting or just highway riding in general, I would say these are an absolute must. If you're the type of rider that never rides too far or mostly rides around downtown or in city areas, I would say you can probably skip on this accessory. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're interested in either of these, I've left links to both of them in the description. While you're down there, you might also want to check out the link to enter to get one of these for free. That's right, I'm giving away one of each of these guys so you can check it out and you might not even have to buy one. Anyways guys, I'm Chase and I'll see you on the next one. Later.